Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are needing to head home with our Kerbal Transfer-er that we've got here. And that's absolutely great. So we've already completed our contract. It did end up counting as was shown at the very end of last video. And let's just see what we've got here for an encounter. So if we were to do this, we should probably set Kerbin as our target. That would help. Le no, I don't get out of here. I don't want an alarm clock out of here okay there we go fantastic let's bring this on in and see what we've got okay that is horrible absolutely horrific so we're probably going to have to wait an orbit or two let ooh, that's actually really close hang on uh what would this look like if we took away that orbit yeah that's looking phenomenal Okay, so that's not too bad, all things considered. Let's take a look at what this actually looks like for the encounter. Uh, KSP? You okay? KSP is freaking out right now. Okay, we're having this issue where it's stuck in the maneuver. There we go. For a second there, I thought the game was frozen, but no, it wasn't. So, oh wow, this is a really nice encounter. I love it. We can definitely dial in this encounter a little bit. Let's go a bit prograde. No, it's going to need... No, prograde was right. Ooh, okay. So we're going to actually have to dial in by radial here. Okay, we barely have this encounter at this moment. Let's see about bringing it in a little bit more prograde now that we've got that radial tossed in there. Okay, this is looking solid. So we'll target about 30 kilometers. That'll be absolutely fine. I'm not going to get greedy with this one. We're just going to... Actually, if we're not going to get greedy, this is already a little greedy. If we're not going to get greedy, what we should probably do is back this off to being about here and then circularize. That would be the way to not get greedy with it. So let's align to the node with our smart ASS and let's get this set up. This is going to be a relatively long time warp here. And of course, as usual, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole time warp. So I will see you guys at the end of it. So here we are right at the end of the time warp. We've got about a minute extra to warp. So we'll go on forward a little further. 20 seconds, 10 and 3, 2, 1, zero mark cool so it's going to be about a 40 second burn here looks like that's fine we'll physics warp our way through that one and we've got quite a lot of delta v left in this thing of course we could try to bring back the nuclear engine we'll see okay i want to hit this fairly accurately here reasonably accurately we can see we're definitely pushing the node off not hugely shocking what is our current encounter looking like? Okay, that's a collision encounter. We probably don't want that just yet. That is within the atmosphere. I'm just going to push it up a little further. We'll call this good. So then at this periapsis, we will add a maneuver. This is going to be a retrograde burn. We're just going to circularize that on up. Cool. Something about like that should do the trick. And that's, of course, going to be in 251 days. So that's going to be another relatively lengthy warp. So off we go on the warp as soon as we get aligned here. And we will be back right after this warp. We are in physics warp right now. Hang on. Let's go into time warp. There we go. See you guys in a minute. Okay. So here we are basically at the end of that warp. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Now we're at the end of the warp. Uh, what I was saying that's interesting about is apparently OBS forgot about my instance of KSP when I swapped back and forth. It didn't do that this time. Okay, sure. Very strange. It usually only does that when there's a game restart, but I definitely didn't restart the game. So, strange. We've got about 40 seconds here. And we'll just physics warp forward, I guess. Not really a point in physics warping, is there? Should have time warped it, but it's kind of too late now. We've got 10 seconds left until this burn. Four, three, two, one, zero, mark. And of course, this is going to be about a one minute burn. So th this we should physics warp, and we certainly will. 
So Bill is very happy to be back at Kerbin about 10 years after he left. Um, it, it, Bill has aged somewhat over the course of this mission. There's no doubt about that. So we are going to be very nicely circularized, actually. That looks great. I want to come down day side, so we're going to do our retrograde burn about here. Wait, are we coming down? Hmm. Are we coming down in the retrograde direction? I believe we're going this direction. Yeah, we're retrograde. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got a lot of Delta V here, so that should be okay. And to be honest, we're completely fine. I'm not concerned about it. I think that I'm not going to get greedy and try to recover the nerve if we're coming in retrograde. I should have looked at that, and I didn't. So we'll just align here for this burn. That also, of course, means that we want to delay this burn because I assumed we were going the other direction. But we want to delay this burn until about here or so. So that'll be a little bit later on the burn. So we'll align for that one. And this is only going to be 52.5 meters per second. Sure. Okay. So let's warp on forward. And we'll burn off the rest of this fuel once we enter the atmosphere, I think. That'll probably be the way that that ends up going. So this is going to be a periapsisite. What am I doing here? 48 kilometers? Okay, let's uh, bring that down to about 30 kilometers. Cool. Even that's a little high, probably. But we'll warp on forward a little further here and commencing the burn now. We'll call that good. 0 0.1 meters per second. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to retract this antenna. We'll go on Kill Rot. We're going to retract our solar panels as well. And actually, I want to go over to surface velocity minus. Cool. We'll warp on forward. And we'll just fall in until we hit the atmosphere here. We're on day side, which is excellent. And we are in atmosphere. Cool. So at this time, we're going to physics warp on over until we get into a reasonable position here. There we go. Getting much closer to being in surface retrograde. There we go. Now I'm going to burn off the rest of this speed here. And yeah, that's going to put us negative here. But that's fine. We'll just slow this right on down. And then we are going to ditch possibly even up to here and just go in naturally. Yeah, possibly. Oh, this is not awkward at all. I'm not sure why. Well, I suppose that would go that way, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. It should go this way. Why is it going that way? That's very weird. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So, at this point, we're just burning off fuel here. We know our impact time is going to be in about two minutes. We're going to be coming down on grasslands. I'd like to get it over this water. And that should be super doable. Like, we've got a lot of water between us and the land. Yeah, we're going to be over water very, very soon. So, we're just going to burn here until our impact biome is water. And then I'm going to ditch this engine. We're not going to try to land with this. We know that the drag here is not very high. We're over shores. I'm going to wait until we're over ocean. Any moment now. Still shores. That's water. Cool. So we're now going to ditch that engine. And we're going to go down just in this capsule. Cool. We'll, we're still 44 kilometers up. I'm just, after the last experience, I'm just not going to get greedy here. That's the goal. We're trying to not be greedy with this return. I don't want to risk Bill in quite the same way. So we're already starting to slow down. That's excellent. We're still 40 kilometers up, right? And we know we're about a minute from impact. And that's probably going to continue to increase. It's not going to be an actual minute, is what I'm saying. I want to be in surface mode. Yeah, there we go. It switched itself when I wanted it to switch. So I switched it back to orbital mode, and that was mildly awkward. So we're slowing down here. We're about 28 kilometers up still. And we can see our vertical speed is... Actually, our vertical speed is dropping. 
That's intriguing. I expected to see our horizontal speed drop, but our vertical speed be increasing. I like it, though. I think that's good. So we're down below 1,100 meters per second as of now, and down below a kilometer per second as of now. Drogues will be available shortly, and we're just playing this very by the book. Out go the drogues, and at this point, we are perfectly safe. The mains will be available soon. There we go. Out go the mains. And we can physics warp. Beautiful. So back comes Bill. Nice and safely. We probably, to be clear, probably, if we had done it a little bit more cleverly, which that trajectory we might not have been fully able to salvage the nuclear engine, but if we had come back more cautiously, we probably could have salvaged the nuclear engine. I would have targeted like 40 kilometers for that, and we would have had lots and lots of aero break time. Go directly down to the periapsis and then burn pure retrograde would probably have been what we would have done, and then save the fuel for a landing burn, and it would have been a whole thing. But it would have been a different approach, and that's not the approach that we took. So here we are. We're going to just gently head on down. 5 meters per second seems absolutely fine, continuing to physics warp down to the ground. Now, we've already completed our contract. We have no contracts available right now. Bill is, of course, going to be heading off on another mission, I'm sure, very soon. I also want to talk about when we're going to end this series, and I kind of feel like we should end this on episode 100. It just seems right. We're definitely getting to the end of this series. It's about time to move on, but I'm not quite ready to do it yet. So let's see what we've got for our contracts available. And hopefully it's something reasonably complex that we can get done in the next, what? It'll be like four and a half episodes. So something like that would be ideal. If the last one needs to be a little long, that's okay. But let's see what we've got. Hopefully it's not something simple like this last one was. Any moment now you want to load KSP, that would be nice. We could also think about upgrading all of our all of our stations. We haven't done that, mostly at this point, mostly because we're a little bit cash starved, because we haven't been allow allowed to get regular contracts. So there's some of that, but there's also the fact that we just don't need to upgrade these further, right? Like the space plane hangar, we don't need to level that up. The mission control, we don't need to max that. The runway is fully upgraded. The launch pad, the VAB is. The tracking station, we could upgrade. And actually, let's go ahead and do these. So we'll get that up to level 3. That's already at level 3. That's already at level 3. Yeah, that's going to be a little expensive. But now we've got everything maxed out at long last. We could have done that earlier, to be clear. We just didn't need to. So let's hop into the mission control and see what we've got here. Explore Eve. Dock two vessels on or around Eve. That kind of isn't that complicated. We can do literally the same mission that we just did. Except this time, it would be around Eve instead of around Kerbal. And we could probably do it with the same craft as well. Although we do actually need to dock these, right? Yeah, so that would actually be even better. So we would just grab the Kerbal Transferer. That's these guys here. And we'd make a couple of slight modifications to it. For this one, we would ditch the Communitron. And we would... I'm just thinking here. This relay antenna is fine. We'll keep it for now. The other craft will be designed to dock to this. So we need this one to be unmanned. And we need to take it out to Eve. So we're just going to do this as is. I want to get this done nice and quickly and hope that we can get something done in the... Like, it's, it's going to be like next episode, right? Before, before all of this is done. Maybe even the one after, and then we can do one more contract after that. That would be the idea here. So let's get this thing lifted off. This is going to be all autopiloted, right? So we'll mech jab this on up. No problem there. Yep, we'll engage autopilot as soon as we're properly loaded. And I'd say let's go. Let's waste no time on this. Beautiful. We don't need to send an engineer this time. The other craft is, of course... Oh, we don't need this heat shield. I forgot to remove it. 
that's my own fault. That's fine. It's a minor amount of weight. I'm not concerned. We're going to be able to salvage a fair amount of the resources out of this as well for the next craft. Now, the next craft I'm strongly considering actually combining these stages together for. If we do that, this oxidizer would be useless if we still have oxidizer. That's an interesting thought there. We may or may not. Yeah. I want to redesign this stage for the next craft, and we're going to have to change some things up up here, of course. But all things considered, this should be nice and simple. No real problems whatsoever, and we'll just launch this guy on up into orbit here. 100 kilometer orbit is absolutely fine. And we can even see what MechJeb makes of a transfer over to EVE. What kind of an orbit do we want to put it in? Kind of a minimal one, like 3 million, or 3 million meters or something. Like a, a fairly small orbit around EVE would be the way to go. The intercept would be a little awkward potentially though, so maybe we don't go for that. But here we are in our coast phase. That's always great. Lots of spare power here, of course. And this is going to get there no problem. It'll have some leftover Delta V even. It may even have some leftover liquid fuel in this tank. Like we may not even we may not even burn out these tanks by the time we get there. We'll see. So we are rotating very slowly on over, no doubt about that. I'm going to thrust limit this not thrust limit. I'm going to gimbal limit this guy down to 10%. And this, I'm going to gimbal limit down to 30%, just to avoid those wiggles that we saw previously. I do want to physics warp on over here. There we go. And we'll take this out of physics warp as we approach it. MechJeb is just aligning us to our circularization burn, which is absolutely fine. And then we'll see what MechJeb thinks for a maneuver to transfer over to EVE. I think we'll target like a million meters for EVE. That's kind of a middle ground between things being expensive, Delta V wise, and orbits taking a really long time. So I think we'll target somewhere around there. This burn is of course going to be a few more seconds here. I'm moused over the mech jeb, so physics warping isn't working, but there we go. Okay, coming out of the physics warp as we do our staging event. Perfect. And we'll physics warp this last little bit of burn here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and almost there. Okay, that'll do. So that's absolutely fine. Let's hop over to, not landing guidance, let's hop over to our maneuver planner and see what MechJeb thinks about advanced transfer to another planet. And that planet will, of course, be, not Gilly, Eve. Set Eve as target, and I want to advance transfer to another planet. Apparently, it doesn't want to do this. We'll unset that as a target, set as target. Okay, there we go. Now it's going correctly. So, departure in one year for lowest delta V. For ASAP, it would be... I want to include the capture burn. So, 2,000 and 6,000. Okay, it's worth waiting a year. <laughs> so, we're going to create and execute this node. That's absolutely fine. We could get there ourselves, although, to be sure, whatever I came up with would not be timed as well as MechJeb's timing is here. So, it would definitely not cost us 2,000 delta V to get there. There's no doubt about that. This is, of course, going to be a relatively long time warp, so we will be back as soon as this time warp is over. I can't help but notice that MechJeb is not... Okay, there it's actually warping forward. Cool. See you guys after this time warp. Okay, so here we are very, very close to our... Oh, I'm sorry. This is very flashy. Okay, there we go. We're very, very close to our departure here. MechJeb is backing off right now on the actual movement there we go now it should be relatively safe cool so we are getting in position for this burn here i'm going to physics warp as we turn on over to the node 
The node is actually in a really interesting spot. Like, this is a very radial burn here. Huh. I wouldn't have expected that. But sure. So we're now about six minutes away from this burn. And Mechjeb is bringing us on forward. Beautiful. Five minutes away. Three, two, one. Cool. Okay, let's see what you've got, Mechjeb. It delayed the burn a little bit. Three seconds there. Always interesting. I'm not sure why it decides to do that. But it definitely does that. So we're going to physics warp this burn. It's going to be about a two minute burn. So we'll accelerate that on up. It's actually only 181 day transit, which is really not bad. So we're going to burn our way on over. Our braking burn is, yeah, we're actually still going to have fuel left over in these tanks, aren't we? Absolutely we are. So one thing we should consider doing at the very least, is emptying this tank on our next run. So we can just reuse this fuel. That's certainly something that we should consider. Okay, we're a little off on the node. Mechjeb is going to try to chase that node a bit, it looks like. Yeah. We're just rotating on around here in physics warp. We turn very slowly. That's to be expected. Yeah, I definitely think bringing this back or bringing this up empty might be the way to go. Okay, so what did it actually do there? What have we got for our Eve encounter? And will this break when we exit the sphere of influence? Maybe. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, this is actually fine. I don't I don't care about this. We're just at this periapsis, we're going to Maybe we'll just call 7 million good. You know, this is probably fine. It's relatively high, but it's not tremendously high. It's still within the, the orbit of Gilly. Yeah, this seems okay. So we'll align to that node. And we don't need the maneuver planner anymore. So that's absolutely great. 2,500 meters per second. So we've got lots of Delta V left in these tanks. Yeah. I love it. So I think all I'm going to do to change the other stage is well we'll have to do we'll have to prepare for re-entry, right? But I think we'll just drop the fuel out of this tank. Oh, that changed a lot as we came out of physics warp. Okay, that's very awkward. Well, let's get in position as best we can here. Apparently we can't physics warp this turn. And the next question that I have is, will our trajectory change when we exit into the sphere of influence of Kerbin? So we should warp to about here, right? So we'll get set up for that. This is not the fastest warp in the world, but it'll do the trick. Okay, yup, it did indeed change. I thought it might. So now we're going to need to do a corrective burn here. So we're going to need to bring this on back. That gets us an encounter there. 45.3 meters per second of corrective burn. And do we want to target like 10 million maybe? We could target 10 million. We're going to need to do some potential inclination changes here. But I'm actually not going to do any inclination change. So we can do something kind of like this. That's definitely going to be bringing us in awkwardly in terms of inclination. But I'm just keeping an eye on what all this is doing. Yeah, this would be some inclination change. Let's just bring this down and have it be something kind of like this. That's about 5 million there. So we're going to back off on our inclination. Or rather, not on our inclination, but on this. Okay, I don't really care too much about the inclination. We'll just match this plane later on. This'll do. So we'll align to that node, and hopefully this won't change too much as we physics warp on over there. There we go. Cool. So we'll align for that node. This is only a 157.7 meter per second burn, but that is, of course, a corrective burn. 
So we'll get that corrected, and then we'll warp on over and get ourselves a breaking burn. Okay, so we've got about three days until our corrective burn here, which is absolutely fine. Mechjeb gets us most of the way there, but it does definitely break on the way in. No doubt about that. It might be conflicting mods, I don't know. Or maybe Mechjeb just needs an update. Who knows? For now, we're going to warp on forward. 30 seconds, 20, 10, and 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. Beautiful. So a small corrective burn here will be absolutely fine. No problem, Delta V-wise. Okay, we'll call that good enough, probably. It's about 11 meters, or 11 kilom. Okay, we're actually going the wrong way here. Let's head over towards Radio Up. It doesn't really matter. We can call this good. We can call this good. I'm not going to worry too much about the orbit. So at this point, we're going to need to do this. The other one doesn't have to be crude, does it? No, it doesn't. But I'm going to make it be crude regardless. Okay, we'll just circularize that. We'll align for this. And let's get set up for this. And we'll head in and get this breaking bird done. And then next episode is when we're going to send the second craft out here. I do want to have it be crewed because I want to have to bring it back. I want, I want that added challenge. So that'll be fine. We're going to head on over. And we are warping. So this is going to be about a 54 second burn when we arrive at EVE. And about 600 meters per second. So we'll have quite a lot of Delta V left here. No doubt about that. So really, we can just omit this stage for the other craft. We can omit this entirely. Because we're going to be bringing this back, right? And then we can refuel with whatever fuel remains in that craft over here, and then head back with this one. Hello, Eve. We might want to move around our relay antenna. I don't know. We'd be heading back with this craft, so in theory, that's a thing that we could do. We'll start up our burn here about now. And let's get into orbit. Cool. So it is about time to put a cut in here. So as soon as we're done with this burn, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll send up the other craft next episode. That'll do. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Emlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. I did not say video very cleanly there. Okay, that's exciting.